don't actually need to wear these. I'm just wearing them because I feel like being a hipster today. Plus they're Harry Potter. That's right. I'm a nerd and I wear glasses I don't need to wear just because I think I look cool in them. But there's a bad reflection, so I won't wear them, but this is how nerdy I look. Also, the insides are like pretty cool, right? Hello everybody, it's Rebecca here at Wyvern Maids, and welcome back to my channel. I am back from vacation, in case you couldn't tell with all the tanness that I now am. It's like a half a shade darker. I don't tan. I'm pale. I'm a Casper ghost. <sighs> well, I am here to tell you today about all the books I'm going to be reading for Booktubeathon! Woo! Booktubeathon is basically a big long readathon. I'm sure you've seen it. It's all over Booktube right now. That takes place from August 3rd until August 9th, I believe. I haven't done a readathon since the Readorama readathon, I think. So I'm very excited to do it. I have nothing else going on this week, so it's like the perfect week for this to happen. So yeah, so there are like seven challenges for you to do and so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Now, will I get through all of these when I'm reading? Probably not, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna try it and we'll see what happens. Also, you will notice that Emma is not on this list um, because I don't think I can read it in a day. I am doing the Emma read along, I promise. I will be doing it, just probably not this week. So, let's see what I actually will be reading, shall we? For challenge number one, it's read a book with blue on the cover. I decided to give, and most of these I haven't even hauled yet, so you'll see that tomorrow. Um, but the first one, so for this, I decided I wanted to read The Selection by Kira Cass. I have not read any of these books before, and I think this one's fairly, like, fast to read anyway, and so I thought this one would work really well, and it's all blue. So it fits the challenge quite nicely, if I do say so myself. The next one is to read a book by an author who shares the same first letter of your last name. So I am so excited about this one because I've been really wanting to read this for a while anyway. So I made it work because the first three letters match my last name. So I'm quite excited and that's The Martian by Andy Weir and I'm so excited and the, a lot of people have said this is a really fast read as well so I'm hoping that's the case so that I can kind of fly right on through it but I'm so excited about reading this one anyway so I was like yes it fits it fits I could do it. Challenge number three is to read someone else's favorite book. Well I'm already doing this for the pop sugar challenge where I have to read my mom's favorite book or a book my mom loves and that is The Shell Seekers by Rosamund Pilcher. I'm about halfway through. Look at how terrible this book looks. Ugh, this is why I don't lend books to my family. Um, I'm about halfway through this right now. So if I don't finish this one by tomorrow when the readathon starts, this will count for that book. However, if I do finish it in time, then I will be reading Not a Drop to Drink by Minnie McGinnis, which is Trina from Between Chapters' favorite book and she has been wanting me to read it for a while, so I figured what better time than the readathon where I have to read someone's favorite book. So if I don't get through, if I get through Shell Seekers tonight, which I'm hoping for, but we'll see because Sundays are busy, um, then I'll be reading Not A Drop's Drink. So there you go. And also, I, I mean, who knows? I might, this is a perspective TBR. I may throw that one in instead of another one for something else anyway, so you never know what might happen, but this is what I'm, planning on but I don't like to hard to stick to things then I'll have to I don't want to be forced to stick to it in case I change my mind later and don't want to read it and that's no fun for anybody anyway I'm rambling let's get going again let's continue on the next challenge is to read the last book you acquired um, the last book I got an ebook last night and that is black by Ted Decker. I saw this on CeCe's channel at Problems of a Book Nerd and so it sounded really interesting and so I decided to go ahead and get the first book and that the ebook of Black. So I'm excited to read that one. That's gonna fit that last book I acquired challenge. Woo! Another one that technically could also count for that one because I did get it 
more recently than that one, but I'm letting it count for this, this other challenge. It's so confusing. I'm sorry. I picked up Sex Criminals today by um, Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky, and this is a graphic novel. I am using this one, though, to count for the finish a book without letting go of it challenge because it's a graphic novel, so it's fairly short. And I feel like I would be able to do this in pretty much one sitting because that's what it's asking for. And if I need to eat, it's like big enough that I could like hold it, you know, while I'm like... It's like, it's like good sized for that. So I don't feel like, feel like I could, I could do this and hold it the whole time that I'm reading it and not put it down. As opposed to some of the other books in this TBR, which are ginormous. And I'm really don't know if I can finish them but this one I think I can finish so if I don't get around to black then this could also count for the challenge of the last book you acquired but I'm cheating because that's what I do the next one is to read a book you really want to read well I really need to read this because it's the year of Gaiman project and it's the pick for that which is American Gods by Neil Gaiman however this is a chunker will I get to it I don't know but I'm gonna try because I do need to read it, um, and I'm excited to read it. I do really want to read it. So hopefully I will get into it and fly through it, but we'll see. And finally, the, f the whole challenge is to read seven books. So I have another book here just in case, like, I need a seventh one kind of thing, and I do really want to read it, and that is All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. This is her, like, memoir, nonfiction book about growing up. And it's really, I really love her on, like, on YouTube. She's fantastic. I love her entire family, basically. And so I really wanted to read this one. So I figured I would count this one as my, like, seventh one in there. Should I need it. So, there you go. Well, those are the seven slash eight books that I am planning to read in the next seven days. Will I get through them all? I'm hoping so. I'm thinking I am, like, you know what? Go, Rebecca, go, Rebecca, go, Rebecca, go. Realistically, I've never read seven books in seven days. So we'll see. It took me the entire month to read Harry Potter, which was seven books. So we we will see what happens. Um, I have high hopes for myself and high expectations. So there you go. Let me know down in the comments below what you're reading for Booktubeathon. And I hope to see you somewhere around on Booktubeathon, Twitter, Instagram, somewhere, wherever. And that's it for me today. Happy reading. I'll see you next time.